I thought I'd give just a little sample of what it's like using ProWriting Aid, both on their online tool and um, that the assets that they provide through a Google Chrome extension. So here I am writing one of the essays for, writing one of the essays, writing one of the emails that is going to be an essay length by the time I'm done. Um, I've got the Google Chrome extension in there and you can see that it highlights everything that it thinks is wrong with my email. So it's pretty cool because it's going to, it'll give you First of all, don't click on disable the rule from what I understand unless this has been corrected. Once you disable the rule, it's gone forever. So um, you can ignore something if it's annoying you that, you know, you like, for example, I put this in here to take a moment to share the details. They're telling me that my readability would be enhanced by by getting rid of this. So I have to think to myself, okay, is it helping me or is it not helping me? Could I say this better? And so I wanted to share the details, probably so. So I get rid of it and boom, it's gone. Or I could have clicked ignore and the and the line's gonna go away. Same here. Um, so it's gonna, it's telling me I'm writing with a passive verb and giving me suggestions on how to improve this. Now, sometimes the suggestions aren't going to convey what you want them to make because it's artificial intelligence. So, you know, I, I what the suggestions are don't really make sense to what I'm trying to say here. Um, obviously, it's going to highlight all of your um, all of your mistakes, and I'm going to actually add this one to the dictionary because I use these names a lot. So I'm going to add them up to my dictionary and then it's not going to um, ding me every time. <laughs> Some interesting things here. Okay, and I'm going to ignore this one because I've decided that that's what I want it to be. So then every time, now it's giving me a little green thing down here telling me everything looks great. When you click on this, It'll allow you to go into their online tool where you can start typing, uploading, doing all of your stuff on here. And this is pretty cool because it allows you to use the tools. So let me copy and paste something in here. All right, so this is another um, another email that we were working on here. And you can see it's got anything that's a, that's problematic highlighted. It doesn't like, doesn't like this, thinks that should be hyphenated. Uh, gives you ideas on things we don't need to be, could be need not. That's an interesting one. We didn't let anything, we let nothing. Some of these things you're probably not gonna change because it doesn't sound like, like, you know, we wouldn't, I would, I would probably never say we would, they let nothing get in there. I don't know if I was writing my book, maybe I would. But here, this is a good one, passive verbs. It's gonna really highlight when you're using passive verbs. So how could you rewrite that so that it's not passive or do you decide you know what this is the way it's just gonna be um, it gives you the the highlight up here of the grammar issues style issues spelling issues you can look at a summary um, style grammar overuse so it's gonna give me my score over here Ooh, we got some improvement to do if we're going to meet their expectations on this particular one um, I like this one. It's going to tell you how many times you've used it, there, have, believe, think. Huh, interesting. So, and then it's going to show you all repeats. You can look at the structure. You can look at um, echoes, all kinds of really cool things. So this is in the, uh, in the one that pops up now over here. We have what it looks like when you're logged into the system. You can put something in here. And this is a section that I was um, editing or starting to edit. Um, obviously didn't get too far with the content in here. <laughs> Let me go back to another one. Uh, but even so, it's got one style issue. It's going to show you what's going on here. So let's go back. So here's a chapter out of one of the books that we're working on and it's got all kinds of um, it's going to show us all the things that need to be fixed so possibly unnecessary comma uh, 
I'm going to agree with that one. Um, and then it's going to just give you all the suggestions on what you can do to improve this writing. So it's really nice. It gives you the suggestions, gives you ideas on how to improve it. This is through their premium access. I don't remember what all is. I think on the um, I think on the free access you still get most of this stuff, but you can only use it on the website, whereas I can download this and use it in other places. Um, and, and I think there may be a couple of things here, but I like this. It gives you the, um, you know, what you can look at to see. Sometimes it gives you suggestions, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on what, what it's going on here. But anyway, this is, there's other reports that you can use. Transition readability, cliches, that's a good one. Let's see if it finds any cliches. Nope, that's good. So... You know, it's a it's a really cool tool as you're trying, people are looking for self-editing um, tools and how to improve your writing before it goes, it goes to the editor. You know, this is a really, really neat, neat thing to do and have access to. So there you go. That's my uh, little sample on how to use the Pro Writing Aid tool. I really enjoy it. Um, I, I love having the the real-time editor in all of the stuff that I'm doing so that I can make sure that, um, uh-oh, I don't know how that got in there, but um, anyway, as I was saying, I, I enjoy having this tool that helps correct me as I'm writing, um, which is a really, really nice way to make sure that um, I catch mistakes. Don't always catch everything, though, but anyway. Let us know if you have questions and definitely check out Pro Writing Aid at womenandpublishingsummit.com forward slash PWA.